Hello and welcome back to Steve's Media. Uh, this is not one of my regular video updates. This is actually one of my new extra series. And the whole purpose of this video today is to give a little preview of what I'll be watching for my month of horror in October. Now what I've done is I've picked out the not necessarily the top picks of my movie movie viewing but the ten titles five Blu ray five DVD that I'm looking forward to watching the most over the course of this month. Not all of them horror films, but one or two titles are more sci-fi sci-fi types. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the titles I've picked out. And we'll start with the DVDs. They're not in any particular order. The first title I'm looking forward to seeing is Shadow of a Vampire. And what this basically is, it's a docu... a sort of docudrama about the making of Nosferatu in 1922. Um, starring John Malkovich, Willem Dafoe. Uh, Malkovich plays F.W. Murnau, who was the director of Nosferatu. And Dafoe plays Max Schreck, who played the, title, the titular role. Uh, the basic premise of this is it's sort of the making of the film but done in a way that it's believed Shrek was an actual real life vampire and not just an actor playing the role. It looks really interesting. I've seen I've seen clips of it and it looks uh, really interesting take. It also, it's also kind of a way of seeing without any footage from back then how the classic film Nosferatu was put together. So yeah, Shadow of the Vampire, we're looking forward to that. The second title is a slasher film capitalising on Films like Friday the 13th, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, those type of films that, in particular the first two, that are like set on certain dates or holidays. And this is April Fool's Day. Uh, basic premise of this is from 1986. Uh, it's basically um, trying to read it up. It's basically a college girl who invites her friends up to uh, a parent's secluded home, and it's supposed to be like an April. It's supposed to be like an April Fool's joke. Like a, a whole weekend of April Fool's pranks, and they get killed off one by one. Ba basic slash of premise. Uh, never seen this film, never heard of it until a couple of years ago. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, the third title I showed in a recent update. Uh, it's a film that I've been wanting to see for a long time. It, it's more of a spoof than an actual horror film, but I do I do like any films that are parodies, and that is 
Young Frankenstein, the classic Mel Brooks film starring Gene Wilder as Dr. Frankenstein. Um, yeah, never seen this film before. Always wanted to see it. Finally got it for cheap uh, a few months, a few weeks back. So looking forward to checking that one out. I think I might actually make that one of my first titles. Uh, the next title is this one here, the original thing from another world, not the remake. I might, if I have enough time after I've gone through all my list of films, I might watch the classic remake, but it's this original that I'm looking forward to seeing the most. It's the. It's basically got a different premise to what John Carpenter did for the remake in 1982. But uh, all I've really seen from this film is the scene where they set the the creature on fire. So I'm looking forward to checking out the film as a whole. And again, like I said, if I can find time for it, I might actually watch the remake as well. They're both it's on two separate discs. So I'm presuming, it doesn't say any special features on the back, but I'm presuming there will be some, particularly on the remake. So that's that. And the last of the DVDs is... Another absolute classic film. I have I have seen this one in parts, but I'm looking forward to checking out the whole film in full. And that is King Kong, the original and best 1933 film. As I said, I've seen clips of this before. I've seen the ending. I've seen hundreds of times when it's been shown on movie videos or on movie websites but I wanted to check the whole film out I never owned this film up until last year when I finally got a copy and I may even check out the documentary about the making of the film which is included on on this release i am i am trying to pick it up on blu-ray or at least the to this special edition dvd which has got a ton of extras on but this one will do for now so that's king kong and that's just a selection of the dvds i'll be watching during the course of october now onto the blu-rays and the first Blu-ray is another sci-fi sci-fi type film that I've always been curious about checking out. Finally picked up on Blu-ray for cheap oh, excuse me. For cheap off eBay. And that is Metropolis. Turned the right way to see the title. Uh, this is the. This is from 1927, so it's one of one of the oldest films in my collection. Um, if, let's try and see. It, yeah, it comes with the reconstructed version released in 2010. Uh, also features a 55 minute documentary about the film, which came out the same year. Uh, 
uh, trailer commentary. I probably won't watch the special features, but I will be watching the film. Um, uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. I've heard so many good things of different film reviews about about just how spectacular this film is. So looking forward to checking that one out. And another 1920s film that I'm looking forward to seeing. And there's two things on this particular release that I'm looking to see. And that is the 1925 Phantom of the Opera starring the great Lon Chaney. Uh, this is another film I've been I've seen bits of. I've seen the infamous scene where the uh, lady takes off the Phantom's mask that's been repeated countless times on different movie countdowns movie websites and all that but this comes with the original version of, of the film with a new piano accompaniment um, a few other bits and bobs as extras but the other reason that I am looking forward to checking this one out is for this DVD right here, which is a documentary, a 86 minute documentary on Lon Chaney himself called A Thousand Faces. Um, I'm a sucker for any movie documentary, any type of movie documentary. I've got quite a few in my collection so this Lon Chaney one is another one to add to that collection so yeah Phantom of the Opera and a thousand Man of a Thousand Faces documentary two for one in that and the next one I could have actually watched a few weeks back as a tribute to one of the actors in this film but I've held it off it's a film I've seen like where most of I've shown, I've seen a famous scene from this film, but never the actual whole thing. And that is They Live, starring the late great Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, one of John Carpenter's best films. Uh, Base premise is Piper plays a construction worker who comes across a pair of sunglasses that reveals a dark secret about the town he lives in. Basically, whenever he wears the glasses, he sees aliens disguised as the incumbent of the city he lives in. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out, especially in Blu-ray. I did have it on DVD for a long time, but I got rid of it as soon as I got this Blu-ray version. So, they live. The next one, uh, I watched the Universal Pictures version of film version of this character last year for the first time and now I'm going to see it from a UK perspective and that is the Hammer Dracula film the first Dracula film done by Hammer starring the late great Christopher Lee it's from 1958 and I've only ever seen one of the Hammer Dracula films that was uh, Dracula and the Prince of Darkness which I do own on DVD I'm not actually going to watch it 
this year. But I do have it upstairs in my collection. I want to go back to the start of the Hammer Run and this film. And uh, this actually contains two versions of the film. The 2007 restoration by the British Film Institute and Hammer Studios' own restoration from 2012. So, um, I'm not sure which version I might watch. Also comes with a few documentaries that look interesting. Um, one about the creation history of Dracula, called Dracula Reborn. Um, a documentary about the restoration of the film, and one on the cuts of the film, ordered by the BBFC. Uh, it also has a segment from the world of Hammer on Dracula and the Undead, as well as a PDFs commentary. So it's a it's a pack set. As you can see there, it's a double play set. So it comes with a Blu-ray. It's a one disc Blu-ray to this DVD. So yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. And as you can see, Christopher Lee only gets bottom billing on this cover. It's actually Peter Cushing, who plays Van Helsing in the Dracula films, who gets top billing. And the last one is a recommendation from a YouTuber that I regularly watch called Cinema Sickness. He's a big fan of this film, as I mentioned in the past update. And this is the original version of The Blob from 19... from the 1950s. Starring Steve McQueen. And this is basically about a... A time comes under attack from a alien jelly substance. Hey, look, it's a classic B film. It's It, look, it looks really good. I'm looking forward to checking out how crisp the imagery will look on Blu-ray. Uh, doesn't really come with too much in the way of extras. Extras, there's basically just a photo galleries and a trailer. But it's the film itself I'm interested in, not so much the extras. So that's that. That is all 10 of my pit top, not so much topics, but films I'm looking forward to checking out the most out of everything. And that is it for this first Steve's Media Extra video. I've been Steve. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel where you can see all my other videos. Until next time, take care.